you may wish to add animations to your application for improving the user experience. Let's see how we can do the same in our systems. This is my service studio where I have a mobile application. It has one entity called customer and has the relevant attributes. I have drag and drop this entity to quickly build the customer listing and details page. Uh, pretty standard. Now there are various ways of improving the user experience in our systems. First of all, you can use these widgets. Second of all, you can work on the style sheets. And we also have a themes editor right here available for you to use. In this video, let me show you how you can use the animations. Now, uh, some concepts first. Basically, uh, in our systems, it has its own UI framework, the one that you can access as this URL. Don't worry, I'll include the link in the description of this video. Uh, this is where you have a lot of these patterns available. Uh, before you use them, you may want to try and understand how to use these. For example, the specific ones I want to use in this video is animate and animate label. You can come here on this page and uh, try a few configurations of this to understand how really the effects are before you try to implement them in your applications basically and uh, thereafter once you know them you can go back to service studio and implement now there is uh, uh, animate and animate label widgets which are available here to use them is pretty straightforward uh, you can just drag and drop this to any uh, any any content on the page where you want to put them for example under the header I can quickly move this link the plus icon under my animate and then I can define what kind of animation I want which is exactly like what we were seeing on the frameworks website so maybe it could be bounce something to get the attention of the user we can put some delay there so that it does not immediately start bouncing there these things are in milliseconds so that's how it looks speed could be maybe fast or in this case should be slow now one more thing while we are at it right uh, i want to highlight is in our systems whichever link is there right for these links uh, whenever there is a transition you can also play with the kind of transition you want for example uh, this button there's also a property for link and it has this transition in here in case you want to do something else right slide from top so the next screen that is destination will appear from the bottoms up okay now thereafter uh, there could be other things that you can do for example uh, let's say I use a tag a combination of widget and animation let's see that as well and inside the tag I can make the phone number as prominent this whole tag I can put inside an animation too so let me look at animate drag and drop here and inside the content of the animation goes the tag and here maybe just to play with let's use right to left with some delay again 2000 or maybe something lesser and the speed could be I'm okay with normal uh, for the other thing the animate label it looks much better on the screens which have forms because it has both label and the text box I'll show you the impact once I publish the application but to use it it's again very straightforward animate and in this case is the animated label so if I bring it here, perhaps under the content form and the container, uh, we'll see that the animated label has both the label and the input. Now this is the one that came together with the widget so I can get rid of it. In our case, what I will do is basically put the label under label and the input goes under the input side. And the whole container which has become empty can perhaps have the whole interaction okay we can do the same for other forms also maybe let me just do it for one more so you understand animated label goes here just do it again i think i dropped it at the wrong place so animated label will come under the container here and we'll get rid of the input field that came together with the label animated label and then we'll move to the label to the label part and the input to the input part looks okay I'll go ahead and publish these applications to see the outcome okay ready launch the application to see the outcome
All right. Now, the few things you might have observed, you can see how the button was bouncing and the phone number came from right to left. And if I go ahead and click on this plus icon, which is where I selected a different transition, the screen comes from top. Uh, the last thing is about the animated labels. You can see how the first two looks different from the others. That's what the animated label does. And basically there's a small animation that happens the moment you select these fields. Let me show you how. You saw how the label became smaller the moment I selected it. And you can provide a response there, like a name, Sam. Okay, that's how you use the animations. Uh, feel free to explore more properties of these animation animation labels. It's pretty straightforward as you've seen to use. And thanks for watching.